I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Thanks for the help. Once she had my location, she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure blood shit! Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty, right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. In this one, we are going to continue the final half of the layer of the Shadow Broker uh, DLC mission, whatever you want to call it, because it's no longer DLC. It's just part of the Legendary Edition now. And I'm so excited to get into this. The last episode was crazy. Liara is going after the Shadow Broker like a bat out of hell because of what happened with Farron. And I just think that's so dope. But, but hey, before we get started with this series, a huge, or this episode, a huge thank you to those of you watching in the premieres. An even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel on patreon.com slash missile Sincerely appreciate you and, and everything you do for me. So thank you. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. Let's, let's do this. We are uh, in the middle of this mission, and we are heading towards the Shadow Broker's ship, where they potentially are right now. Remember, we have no idea who the Shadow Broker actually is. We don't know what species they are. We do not know anything about the Shadow Broker. But this is our build going into this. sunset, completely undetectable in the storm, unless you know where to look. How do we get inside? The shuttle bay is locked down. We'll need to land on the ship and hunt for a hatch. But we can't stay outside for long. There's a constant lightning storm where the hot and cold air collide. from a communications array near the back of the ship. There's nothing below but maintenance equipment. We have to find an entrance near the back shielding. Yes, we do, Liara. The love of my life, you you sweet angel. Anyways, so you'll notice that this entire place is getting hit by lightning. She mentioned that, but there's going to be lightning rods that we're actually going to be able to use throughout this mission that are going to completely save our butt. So we're going to continue this way. And we're going to run into some little enemies while we're doing this. Something else I want to mention about fighting here is that you're going to notice... Uh, we'll go ahead and just overload. And... Hello? Finish that one. But you'll notice that uh, we can actually use certain abilities to one-shot kill people. So one of the best ones that we can do is we can actually use Singularity and then Slam on an enemy that's had its defenses stripped. And it will just... It'll go right off, just like in Mass Effect 1, actually. So, we can grab these 3,000 credits, our first credits of the episode, and our second, uh, second half, I should say, of this mission. So, you'll start to see these guys are coming in here. So, we're actually just going to hit this lightning, which is going to shock both of them, or all of them. Then we can charge in, and I want to go ahead and show you what I was talking about. So, we'll Singularity, and then Slam. Unfortunately, that didn't work because the guy actually died. So I wasn't able to show that off. Uh, but that is how we're going to get the Tactician Trophy. Now that those three are dead, we can move on. We got uh, a bunch of... Well, we don't have much ammo, actually. But we are going to need to deal with some Loki mechs. Which, you know, we've done this before. We know how to deal with them. That one, I don't even know what just happened to that one. It, like, fell and died. That was cool. Charge this, and boom! You'll love to see it. 
Loki mechs are easy. This party, by the way, of Liara and and um, and Miranda is just so, so good, by the way. So let's see if we can get it on this one. Singularity, and then slam. That didn't quite work, but the idea is there. We'll go ahead and charge this agent just so that we can get enough, and we'll deal with this engineer as it came out as well. Targeting that, there we go. Look at that, look at how easy that is. That singularity kind of keeping it in the grip. How did that guy not just die? What? How did you? My guy, how did you survive that? You don't want to hit these lightning rods while your team is next to them, by the way, because that's going to hurt real bad. Uh, and it's going to do damage to you and your team. So, you, like, you don't want to stand right here and do it because it might kill you. So, let's go ahead and activate the rod controls. And more enemies immediately are going to show up, which we can go ahead and do what we always do and kick their booties. Worth mentioning that there is a vanguard now, a heavy, and uh, we kind of put ourselves in a tough position here. But I'm honestly not that worried because we have double warp and the ability to use these rods and the ability to use biotic powers and everything else. It would help if I was on screen during that combat so that you can see how beautiful I look while I beat everybody up. It's very beautiful, by the way. Very, very beautiful. And we'll continue down to the lower section here. Yet again, we're getting closer. We'll come over here just for cover real quick and see who's who's here. Now, it's actually funny because there was... There was actually a... Uh, oddly enough, we'll go ahead and overload those. Charge this one. There was an agent that somehow... I mean, he's killed now, but he must have, like, ended up... I don't even know. Ended with his friends. I... Hey, I don't know. We can grab 4,000 credits from that salvage crate. We still need to continue down just a little bit more. I think that agent's dead. Nope, he's still alive somehow. So let's just go ahead and finish this guy. Where are you? What are you doing, bud? What was that guy? What was he even thinking? Anyways, now we can head this way and maybe maybe be able to uh, get into the, the Shadow Broker ship and just destroy... Is this not terrifying? By the way, like, think about it. If you jump, <laughs> you're gonna end up in that, like, propulsion engine thing. Like, this is not, this, there's lightning everywhere that's not hitting us because of the rods. I mean, this is a terrifying section. <laughs> if you were, if you were Commander Corey Shepard right now, like, I'm afraid of heights. Looking down was clearly a mistake. And so is Liara. <laughs> like, I don't, woo, spicy. And we'll see more enemies repel down. It's actually a very cool thing that they do. How they come down there just looks really cool to me. But we'll go ahead and finish this off and turn around and grab this Loki mech. I don't know what this Loki mech thinks it's doing. How dare it attack us in another one here. Which we can go ahead and just finish. You should be able to, by the way, get the tactician trophy in this episode. Or in this part of the game. Uh, without any real struggle whatsoever. Look at how cool this looks though. Oh man. Continuing on. It's fine. I'm not scared at all of this. Look at that! You can't even see... Oh, jeez. Finally, entering into the interior of the ship. This ship is incredible. Yeah. It must have taken decades to build in secret. I wonder what happened to the contractors. I think we can guess. <laughs> that's a good... That's a... It's kind of like... Uh, you know, the last the last Star Wars movie that came out. Anyways, we can talk to Liara here. This storm is brutal. If the ship's engines stop, even for a moment, at least the Shadow Broker would go down with us. That's comforting. Liara, getting real dark, to be totally honest with you. You can also look here. I bet you can't even hear the storm from inside the ship. That's actually, like, a really cool feature to have on your ship. And we can go ahead and grab this... 4,000 refined palladium power cells, which has uh, some ammo for us because we used missiles in the last mission. So, yeah, we lose out on 100 credits there, but that's not a big deal. And it looks like we probably have to go back out to the exterior of the ship. We sure do. So, if you're afraid of heights, well, you're going to have some more of them. It's fine. We'll be... It's 
no big deal. Anyways, looks like we're probably going to have some more enemies here because this looks like exactly where more jumped us. Although there is a med station there that we can use for 100 credits. Credits are credits, baby. Continuing on. It's fine. You know what I mean? Looks like we're getting back onto the top of the ship, trying to find our way into it proper. We need to take down the Shadow Broker and save Farron. Coming up here, we're going to have more enemies that are about to show up. Lucky for us, we have the power of lightning on our side. And we'll go ahead and beat up this heavy. And we'll pop that as well, which will also lightning more people. Attack this vanguard. We're actually going to double warp this vanguard. Almost immediately taking it out with just that hit. Go ahead, charge this heavy as well. And lightning. Unfortunately, us getting hit by the lightning as well, but we'll go ahead and charge, sending that vanguard out of here. And finally, a singularity that will finish off those enemies. And it looks like we have another heavy there that we're just gonna go ahead and shotgun. And we'll go ahead, charge this guy. And uh, not quite going off the edge, but close to it. And we'll go ahead and overload this shield. Remember, there are a ton of different things that you can do here. We're gonna go ahead and charge this guy that you can do to get trophies. So if you're still missing the shield one, you can grab that. If you're still missing the uh, the tactician, you can grab that. Um, there's not much armor in this, so like I really wouldn't recommend anybody that has Incinerate or even Zaid wouldn't be that useful in this mission. Jack is very useful in this part of the mission. Um, Garrus isn't even that good, to be honest with you. But like I said, I still just, I firmly believe that Miranda is just the most powerful squad member you can have. And honestly, her Cerberus officer or leader um, ability, which improves your entire squad, is, is, you can't, you just can't ignore that in this game. It's so powerful. But uh, oddly enough, it looks like my game has actually bugged out because more enemies were supposed to attack us here and they're nowhere to be found. So I think maybe my charge singularity spam might have broken the game. Let's go ahead and reload and see what we can do. So if we take this section really slow, uh, then enemies will actually respawn. However, if you charge towards the back here while these enemies, before these enemies respawn, kind of forcing them to re to spawn, I should say, uh, then that means the later part of this mission, the enemies that need to spawn won't. And a control panel that we need to use will never become available. So if a Loki mech, perfect. So if this Loki mech doesn't spawn, it means that you probably charge too far uh, it's it's like a it's a weird bug that's in the game and unfortunately can really really ruin it because you have to just redo that section until until the bug doesn't happen. So we'll go ahead and kill these Lokis, no problem. And once we get up to the top here, we're actually going to have more enemies that we're going to have to fight. And this time, we're not going to have the power of the lightning capacitors. Yeah, I had to replay that a bunch of times until I figured out what the bug was. So that was super weird. You just can't really charge much. Or if you do, you have to charge parallel and not any other way. So up here, though, doesn't matter. We can take out these guys. No problemo. All we have to do is teach them some manners. And we'll be able to proceed with uh, the interior of the ship once these guys go down. We'll go ahead and charge here and finish off this finish off this agent <laughs> like what do you what do you mean see ya and that should be all the enemies that we can kill here on the top which means now we can come up here and we'll have a panel control that we can finally interact with and it won't be bugs Finally, now that that annoying section with no bugs is done, we can continue on. I recommend saving at any point during this too, because this it can be really tough. The auto save is very, very generous here, but you never know. So we're gonna just hurry up and kill these agents as quickly as we can. Uh, not you, hello, there we go. Sending that guy flying out of here. Watch out for the heavy, the engineer. Should be able to kill these guys fairly quickly. And we'll go ahead and we'll 
I was gonna say, we can actually use that as well, which is going to hit us, but like, it doesn't matter. It will only hit my shield, and I don't really mind that. And it looks like we have another Vanguard that we're gonna put some damage into. Send this Vanguard flying so that we can do some real damage. Hit this heavy, and another warp should be enough to kill that enemy. And another charge, sending this agent flying. Look at how much, look at how, look at what we're doing here. Look at what we're doing. Wrecking them. Shadow Broker? Shadow Broker who? You know what I mean? We're just like, we're a charging maniac. This lightning rod is actually on a rail, so we need to find the switch so that we can move this lightning rod and hopefully kill everybody with it. But before that, we can come down here and get these component, uh, salvage these components, I should say, for 3,000 credits. But you love the monies. More money, more good. Anyways, we can interact with this rod here. And I think that looks like we killed everything that we can in this section. So let's go ahead and move on. Still trying to get into the interior of this ship and just not really being able to, but my friends, I think. I the guardrail. I bet the broker's agents love patrolling the hull. <laughs> the view is nice. The view is really cool. But no, I would agree there's not even a there's not even a guardrail. We are nearing the very end of the exterior of the ship. That hatch leads directly to the communication signals. Let's go ahead and grab this med station real quick for a hundred credits. Notice that there's a bunch of lightning capacitors over here, as well as some thermal clips. You just can bet your booty that we are about to run into a problem. We're gonna interact with this hatch control, and uh, listen, it's gonna be the hardest fight, probably of the entire mission. It's locked. Hang on, I've got a bypass shunt program that can crack it. How long will it take? I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Well, not this one, anyway. And now we need to defend the hatch, lost style. While she tries to get the door open. Go ahead and pop that. And we'll just start taking care of all of the enemies we possibly can. Because there is going to be a lot of them. Luckily, we can send that vanguard completely off the edge of the map. And hopefully be able to get here up to these heavies as well. Where we can easily eliminate them with the power of the Geth shotgun. This is what I mean. The Geth shotgun is so, so, so good against shields and whatnot. That it's like... Like, I love the scimitar. I think the scimitar is really, really fun. Go ahead and pop that. It's going to hit Miranda, but that's fine. Going to go ahead and hit that. Also, the just the dialogue that's happening with Liara and, and Shep just makes me so happy. Waiting for this. Come back. Send the vanguard off the edge. Charging at this guy here. You can see, I mean, I'm playing fairly recklessly, and we're doing okay, and that's, you know, we don't have a ton of upgrades or anything right now, and in fact, I'm not even really using the lightning capacitors to do the work for me. I'm kind of, kind of just seeing what we can do here. Now, this is a little bit of a problem. The rocket drones will kind of screw it up, but we're going to go ahead and overload, and also, something else that's worth mentioning is, I believe... We obviously can't charge, but I believe we can actually stasis these. And that should eliminate the rocket drones almost entirely. Also, don't forget that the Geth shotguns do a ton of damage to these. We'll overload that one. And hopefully stasis this. Wait for overload to come back. I would recommend switching to like the Matic or something. So the stasis does completely eliminate these from the fight once stasis wears off. So keep that in mind. Very, very useful. You think? <laughs> we'll go ahead and grab these real quick. Hit that agent, hopefully off the side of the ship. Hit that lightning capacitor, unfortunately not hitting the engineer. 
and instead hitting us. Then we're going to actually stasis this combat drone and charge this engineer, which Overload did almost nothing to his shields. But we'll go ahead and send him off as well. Enemy biotic on the field. We'll go ahead and warp her. Unfortunately for us, Miranda did go down, and we could use a, we could end up using a, uh, a meta gel here to get her up, but I just don't really think it's worth it. We're about, we're about the end of it. She'll respawn after every wave, and here we go. This is going to be the biggest wave. Which means we're going to go ahead and charge, and then, come on! Whoa! Spicy. Go ahead and warp. Charge. Charge works great as just a CC as well, you know? And then, hopefully, we can finish off this Vanguard before she becomes a problem. Let's actually not use that. Let's use Singularity, and then uh, Slam. Perfect. Hitting this lightning capacitor here will hit the ones that are on the top and me, which is fine because we can come in here and take care of this heavy. The thing that I love about heavies is they are essentially just one shots. Go ahead and stasis that drone. Get in a cover here and finish that off with an overload. Go ahead and charge this broker. And we were able to do this fairly sloppy, but there's so many areas that you can use for cover. You kind of know where each of them are going, but really, this section is all about patience, taking it slow, unless you're a vanguard, in which case you can do whatever the hell you want. And, um, and we did it. So it's all about cooldown usage, making sure your powers are there, use unity when you need to, don't skimp on it. Uh, all of those are going to be really, really useful. The lightning capacitor shooting that whenever they're charged is just going to help throughout the fight. Honestly, you could pull out your pistol and just as long as you hit those lightning capacitors, you will be in a fine spot. Like, that's legit. That's all it takes. So anyways, now that that fight is done, we finally can enter into the interior of the ship proper. And they are mounting a desperate defense of their Shadow Broker King. And unfortunately for them, it's not going to matter. Because we are Commander Corey Vanguard Shepard. And we can just keep on plowing through them. We don't care about any of these guys. Turn around and deal with these guys that are attacking us as well. Thought that engineer was dead, but I guess not. Make sure our team doesn't go down. We kind of took the distraction for them, which is exactly what we needed to do. Let's continue on here, keeping an eye out for any loot that we can find. Liara getting shot at, not even knowing to turn around. Charging here so that we don't get hit by that flashbang that was thrown out. We just need to keep an eye for an eye out for that as well. Warp this guy, should send him dead. Go ahead and Reeve him as well. Reeve being not super useful against a, a almost dead target. Take that guy out and then I saw another enemy here that we can take out. Charge this agent. You see, I mean, you see what I mean? It's, it's like we're a hot knife through butter. That's a Vanguard, baby. That's all a Vanguard is. I'm gonna go ahead and wait and then we're going to Reeve. Melee that Vanguard to death. Reeve being a very underutilized power, but still very good. I'm just not used to having it. The big thing with Reeve is you have to decide, do you want to Reeve or do you want that cooldown for charge? And if you're playing super aggressive, uh, charge is probably the answer. Anyways, come down here just to see what's going on. What is all this? Sounds like it's a listening station that's getting just a ton of info all given to it at once. 
What kind of species is the Shadow Broker, and is the Shadow Broker just one person? Find out today. I downloaded the ship's layout. We're headed toward the prison block, and Farron. I'm also so curious what the relationship between Liara and Farron is. Like, I know what the game tells us, but what else? That was so weird. That Vanguard just sat there looking at us like... That was so weird. And we'll go ahead and finish off some of these. Grab this med kit while we can. Grab this terminal while we can. 4,500 credits. Looks like Farron is down in there. Let's see if we can help out a little bit better. Take out that drone real quick. Turn around. Take out this engineer. Absolutely obliterating him in one shot. If we go to use this door, it's not working. Looks like we only have one way we can go, which is Farron. Locked in some type of... I don't even know. So let's go ahead and bypass this door here. And with that, that means Liara's mission is complete. Farron. Liara? Hold on. We're getting you out of here. No. Farron. What the hell is the broker trying to do to you? The equipment is sensitive to tampering. This chair plugs into the broker's info network. You have to shut off the power. Pull me out now and my brain cooks. Do you know where we can cut the power? It won't be easy. You'll have to go to central operations. What's the point of this cage? I don't... <laughs> It's a neural grounding rod. The medical equipment is to make sure he doesn't expire. We have to shut this place down. Where did the broker get the mercs? Raised his own private force. They're completely loyal. Ah, ah, ah. Shepard, we really don't have the time. What do you know about the broker? He did this to me. I was hoping you'd know what he is. I never got a good look, but he's big. The guards are terrified of him. A Krogan? I don't know. But not everyone who visits his office comes back out. No way it can be a Krogan. Easy or not, we're all getting out of here. Good. Central Operations is down the hall. You know the Shadow Broker's waiting for you, right? I'm counting on it. We'll be back for you, Farron. I'll try not to go anywhere. I want all teams to outpost seals. Get an LOS. Paint the marks. Uh-oh. And as soon as we come out, we're going to see that we got even more enemies waiting for us. Which is fine. You know, that's the way that's the way we like it. Go ahead and charge here. Some of our shields back. Go ahead and charge this Vanguard, sending her flying, which you love to see. Let me over taking care of this guy real quick. More enemies. You know, it's just like non-stop, which is great. I mean, you I hope you guys can tell how good Layer of the Shadow Broker is. Uh, not to say the rest of the game is bad, but Layer of the Shadow Broker just takes things and, and elevates them to a level that the rest of the game just doesn't quite read. If the entire game was the Layer of the Shadow Broker, holy cannoli. You know what I mean? Probably be one of the best games of all time. This Layer of the Shadow Broker is so good. Go ahead and charge. Hopefully not. Are you just one guy? You dweeb. Anyways, we can grab this bed kit for 100 credits and this terminal for 4,500 credits, which you love to see. So something I will mention about credits is the most you can get in this mission, no matter what, is 90,000. You can find 45. You can find more than 45,000. Cerberus will fund the other 45. But if you find 47, Cerberus is going to do you know what whatever less right uh so keep that in mind the most you can get from this mission is ninety thousand credits which by the way is a lot that's no joke look at this place like it's so it's so cool this is a ship but it feels
here for the drill. Reckless, even for you, Commander. That bombing on Ilium wasn't exactly subtle. Extreme, but necessary. No, it wasn't. Neither was caging Ferran for two years. Dr. Tassoni, your interference caused all this. Farron betrayed me when he handed you Shepard's body. The Drell is simply paying the price. Someone was bound to come after you for working with the Collectors. It was a mutually beneficial partnership. Your arrival is convenient. The Collector's offer still stands. Be smart. Let Farron walk out with us. You won't be walking out at all. You're quite confident for someone with nowhere left to hide. You travel with fascinating companions, Doctor. At least you brought me both Shepard and Ms. Lawson to Sony. Their deaths will cripple Cerberus. You're not putting a hand on anyone. It's pointless to challenge me, Asari. I know your every secret while you fumble in the dark. Is that right? You're a Yogg. A pre-space flight species quarantined to their homeworld from massacring the Council's first contact teams. This base is older than your planet's discovery. Which probably means you killed the original Shadow Broker 60 years ago, then took over. I'm guessing you were taken from your world by a trophy hunter who wanted a slave. Or a pet. How am I doing? And it looks like we are face to face with the Shadow Broker. Finally, Miranda, though, taken down at the very beginning of the fight before she could even do anything, which, uh, you know, really sucks. Not a fan of that. Anyways, we're gonna do as much damage as possible to the Shadow Broker. Look at how easy this fight is. It's like, who even are you, buddy? You know what I mean? Oh, kicking his butt, he's got nothing on us. We're shoot him, we hit him, we just do whatever we want, and he can't do nothing. We'll use warp. I mean, look at this. Look at Come on. Shadow Broker, a Yogg, a pre-space -spa flight. Uh-oh. The shield's kinetically sensitive. Energy and projectiles are bouncing off. Then we do this the hard way. Hit him now. Yup. And we run up and we melee him. This fight just got a little bit harder, my friends, because now he has a shield, which does not matter at all. So we're just gonna keep charging him as he charges us, and you'll see that we are just going to kick his butt. Singularity kind of stuns for a little bit. The shield does too, and we can just keep the Shadow Broker just not able to do much at all. So as long as we have ammo, which we do have plenty because we have the Matic as well, don't forget. We need to melee him. to bring up that shield again. I've got an idea. Oh, so do I. So let's go ahead and charge. We only have two shots left of our shotgun. Let's make it count against the enemy shields. And we're gonna go ahead and use singularity here. Switch to the, uh, let's actually switch to the locust. Charge when he charges. Get rid of that shield as quickly as we can. You can see how much damage we are able to pump out against the Vanguard. This is a Vanguard's, I mean, uh, uh, how much damage we can dish out against the Shadow Broker. This is a Vanguard's dream fight, by the way. So little strategy is actually needed.
confirm status. Operative Shora requesting update. Are we still online? Shadow Broker, I've lost our feed. We're online and awaiting instructions. Resume standard procedures. I want a status report on all operations within the next solar day. Shadow Broker, out. Goddess of Oceans, it's you. You... how? Well, everyone who's ever seen him in person is dead, so... You're the new Shadow Broker. Is taking over as the Shadow Broker really a good idea? It was either that or lose everything. His contacts, his trading sources, those will really help us. With the Shadow Broker's information network, I can... I can give you... I can... I'll check the power systems. Two years. I don't... We're different people. You have your mission and... information are we talking about? I'm not sure. I'll need to go through his files. Come back later and I'll try to have something useful for you. All I wanted was to rescue Farron, but is it wrong that part of me wants this? With the Shadow Broker's network, I can help you. Maybe I can turn this operation into something better. Don't be a stranger this time. Small chance of that. Come back soon. And my friends with that a huge huge like that is so large of a thing liara our liara our love is now the new mo one of the most powerful people in the entire galaxy she is now the shadow broker which is going to be so useful for so many things to come now it is worth mentioning that there is some unique dialogue that happens if you've already done the the finale of this game uh because actually this game was was afterwards so it does have that however i just think it makes way more sense like it just the motives of of uh the the shadow broker being like ah oh, basically if you do the mission he's like well i can steal the normandy i can take the normandy from you and i can take the 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 iff that you know that we have to get uh, I could take the EF, IFF and I can I can use that for myself. This one makes way more sense to me that he is like, cool, you brought me Shepard and, and Lawson. Cerberus can now be destroyed. Like, it just makes way more sense. I just don't know if it's worth waiting until the very end of the game, after the game, after basically you've completed the game to do this, because there is so much you get for doing it. For instance, a thousand experience. We are now level 24. Shepard has defeated the Shadow Broker, eliminate Cerberus information leaks as Liara Tassoni takes over. The Asari's relationship with Shepard should be watched closely. 
Don't you ever come for Liara, Cerberus. Do you understand? Heavy pistol damage. Oh, yeah. Damage protection. Oh, yeah. Credits. We got 103. We we didn't. But but it looks like we did. We only got 90,000. Uh, it, it looks like there was more. But unfortunately, that's that's not. It's 45. It's... Um, I'm pretty sure it's 90,000 fixed. I, I don't think you can get more than that, but it looks like we can. So that means that means we pretty much got everything. The actual amount of credits that we find is 54,000 if we get everything. Um, and then and then Cerberus funds us the rest. So just, just keep that in mind. We did get 1,000 Element Zero, 4,000 Palladium, and my friends, that is it for this mission. But even more important than those results, we now have the Shadow Broker base is now basically our base. Shepard, it's so good to see you. I've set up a few terminals with information I think you'll find interesting. Take a look. Welcome back, Shadow Broker. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. Okay, or... Commander Shepard can also just be the new Shadow Broker. Liara is right there. Uh, she's too busy to come over and talk to us and say hi. But one of the things you'll notice here is investment opportunities. We can invest credits and actually potentially get some pretty good stuff. Let's see what else we have in the room first before we do that. Shutter control here that we can activate, which is going to open and we can see outside. I see no reason not to do that because it looks amazing. We can also get the Shadow Broker ship model that we will now have in our cabin on the Normandy. We also have the survey information that we can check out, which allows us to do more credits and then we can find the location of a planet rich with whatever. Uh, I don't really think it's worth doing this because it's it costs credits and we're going to be scanning every planet anyways. We also have a research terminal that we can then investigate and do the heavy pistol damage and the heavy pistol critical. Heavy, heavy pistols sometimes deal double damage. We also have the damage upgrade that we can now use. Squad bonus plus 40% to shields, barriers, and armor. And moving on, we also have the ability to customize our armor and locker here. So no longer are we... We can pretty much do everything we want here. She may be expecting to move to a larger mansion. Interesting. And right here, we have advanced training, which is finally something that we can do. So if you messed up in skill allocation at all in this game, uh, now you can actually go and you can change every single person's status and, and retrain their powers, which is incredibly useful if, for instance, like Morden, you took uh, in uh, it, like area, so I want incinerate, but I actually want his heavy incinerate. I don't want his incinerate blast. So it's just super useful. And while we're here, I am going to do uh, back to his Salarian Savant as well. But like I said, if there's anybody that you want to respec, you could do that here. And it's awesome. It's super useful to be able to do that. So just wanted to point that out. And we also have dossiers over here that we can look at, which is going to have dossiers on literally all of our, uh, all of our our team so he's been keeping an eye on all of us not just us but also uh aria captain david and anderson stephen hackett captain bailey cerberus the shadow broker himself has stuff here which is pretty wild like this is it's it's amazing i just uh it's so cool it's just so cool anyways we do have like i said some other things that we can do like those investment opportunities We can also use this delivery pickup here where we can find a shotgun technology and 2,500 palladium. So now we got an upgrade to our shotgun damage, which is awesome. So something I want to mention about the delivery pickup is that on PC, it's kind of complicated and you have to do it. However, legendary edition or consoles, you can actually go into the settings and the way that you can do this is, so the delivery pickup actually will update after every mission, after every day of real time, 
or after every assignment or whatever that you do. However, we can actually just go into the systems. We can go into the set date and time and we can actually just set manually and we can just change the day, load the save, and we'll be able to get the shipment yet again. And you can keep doing this until you get what you need. And because it's random, it can take a lot of time to do this. And now you can, we got the assault rifle technology. Again, I recommend doing this. So the most that you can get is you can get the, the uh, shotgun damage, assault rifle, submachine gun, and sniper rifle. So once you have all those four, you can stop doing this, but it will give you, it'll still give you these uh, like all the time. You can get a ton of resources. So we just got platinum and we get the sniper rifle technology. And you can also just reload if you didn't get what you wanted the first time. And finally, the SMG technology, which means we've gotten all of it that we can do from delivery. Even if we had to cheat it a little bit, it's still worth doing that. Anyways, let's go ahead and actually go ahead uh, research that what we just got. So five out of five assault rifle damage now, which is going to give us the trophy weapon specialist. We also have shotgun damage, five out of five. Sniper rifle damage, five out of five. And submachine gun damage, five out of five. And finally, the big one that I want to show you and actually talk about what to do here is going to be the investment opportunities that we can use. So the first one that you're going to want to use is the warning signal that costs a thousand credits. We'll get 2000 in return. So let's go ahead and fund that mission. There's also this one bureaucracy in action for uh, the sort of foundation can't start tests on a promising new antibiotic because of accidentally misfiled. Ooh, this costs 3000 credits and doesn't lead to anything. So we're not doing that. There's a smear campaign that we can do. That's definitely worth it. It's 25. 500 credits will get 5,000 credits in return. Corrupt politician is trying to levy heavy taxes on all earth manufactured goods coming into his system. So let's go ahead and fund that one. And I would also highly recommend uh, just reward. Eclipse mercenaries have secretly set up a red sand production facility. Tip off the planet authorities uh, about the facility in exchange for half the credits seized during their raid. So that costs 15,000 credits or 1,500 credits. We will get 3,000 credits. If you're trying to maximize your credits, there are three mission missions that you should not buy whatsoever. Bureaucracy in action, blue listed, and mutually assured income. Those three, do not buy them. Not necessary. And we can use the same, uh, the same trick that we used for the delivery. We can use that again for this. So we can go ahead and report the warning signal. Admiral Hackett and the Fifth Fleet have ambushed the colony raiding pirates. We can do smear campaign. Go ahead and report that. 5,000 credits, and we can do just reward for 3,000 credits. Remember, we don't want bureaucracy in action, we don't want blue listed, and we don't want mutually assured income. Everything else we want. Chemical warfare actually is going to lead us to some moolah. And reloading again, we now have chemical warfare done. The agent warns binary helix about a citadel inspection a week before it happens. And then finally, false prophets. Rapidly growing cult called the followers of the exalted light of the word is gaining a foothold in Omega. Let's see if we can get in on that. And that means we can do our final one and get the false prophets, which we're going to get a bunch of money. 6,000 credits from that, which you'd love to see. These other ones, like I said, don't touch them. Not worth it. You'll lose money from doing that. We now have 13 uh, 135,000 credits, sorry, uh, and w a ton of research, like our weapons are maxed out. Well, they're not maxed out because we can actually do more. And like I said, I just don't think it's worth doing this survey information if you're scanning planets anyways. If you do need a specific one, like if you're really low on element zero, sure, go ahead and buy it. It's only a thousand, but I just don't know if it's necessary. If we come up here, we'll also see this door and we can use that, which actually leads to the private quarters where it seems like Farron is over here. Shepard, glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're probably right. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Liara never gave up on you, Farron. I just helped. I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. I see you met the secretary. For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been close. She's a good friend. Better than I deserve. How you holding up, Farron? I'm... I'll be alright. 
I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. How many times did the Shadow Broker hook you up to that contraption? A lot. It gets fuzzy. He made the guards watch, as an example. What will you do now that you're a free man? I want to help Liara rebuild this place. But after that... Your schedule's getting full, sir. Let me sync it to your Omni tool. No thanks, I'm fine. <laughs> How did you and Liara both end up looking for my body? Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time, and he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. What turned you against the Shadow Broker? He started working for the Collectors. You weren't their first victim. I am... was an information traitor, not a slaver. Looks like you've made a friend. The drone follows everyone. I don't know why the broker kept it around. I'm a shell for a specialized data processing VI, custom built to your specifications, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds, but it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my default personality sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. I wish it would stop calling me that. How do you think Liara's doing as the new Shadow Broker? Operations are almost fully recovered after a slight dip in efficiency. Ever since we repaired the network, Liara's been glued to the archives. <laughs> I caught her sleeping at her desk more than once. She's busy, but I think she likes it that way. I'm sure Take she it easy, does. Baron. Thanks. Thank you. Don't forget, Farron is responsible for getting us here. Or helping get us here. Music data pad as well. You can actually use that. And that should change some music. Also, if we come up here, we can see a video archive. What does this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Ar Donnell Udina. Ah. David Anderson, Citadel. Looks like Anderson is talking to a Cerberus operative. Praetor Gavar. Omega. Remember Gavorn? Kalisa bin Sinan Al Jelani. Set it out. Athena looking at a picture of is that Liara? Heard not Torsk, Tachanka. Uh oh. Elias Kellum, Omega. Whoops. Jacob Taylor, Normandy SR2. Damn, Jacob, at least you're fit. Subject zero. Purgatory. Ship now defunct. That was awesome. Aria Talok. Omega. We can go ahead and exit that. And we can check for more videos on our next egg, our next visit. Which we definitely will. It'll give us a reason to come back here. Now that I've gotten everything from the delivery and from the, the everything that we can use. It's amazing. We're amazing. Also, I can go ahead and pick up some palladium. And we can talk to Liara. See what she has to say now that she's the shadow broker. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The shadow broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Salarian Dalatros traded intel. At least I get to share it with you. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. 
I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Now, it's also worth mentioning that, again, if we were to have this conversation after we've completed the game, some things would be slightly different. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. He gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So, you and Farron are just friends. I believe you made it clear that I was, as you humans say, taken. And I want to talk about us. You know, I didn't come down here just to talk about Data. Look, about the kiss. We just finished the fight. I miss you, but it's been two years. I don't want to put pressure on you. I've got fond memories of the last time you put pressure on me. <laughs> so do I. Why don't you come to the Normandy for drinks? I'd like that. And we'll go soon. I think it's a little too soon to jump into that. Good. Next time I come back, it's a date. I'm not sure people like us have dates. But I'm looking forward to it. You gotta keep them wanting more. You know what I'm saying, nerds? There we go, my friends. We have done almost everything we can possibly do in the Shadow Broker base. We, I mean, we have done everything we could do in the Shadow Broker base. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty. I sincerely appreciate you. Huge shout out to those of you watching the premiere. It's even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash online. We have a ton of side quests to do in this game left. We have four loyalty missions to do and of course the Reaper IFF itself. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the old Shadow Broker. Goodbye everyone.